It's the season of the bonking. The bonking as UK family has come out to call out Adane with a full chest. She is dragging Adane. You guys, you need to listen to what UK had to say right here and I will be back. Please, let us call a spade a spade. You know wants me, you know if you open up talk. Your friend, dead outside, they call me every day, they call me every day. You can go, you can, you can. Say Adane. Let me tell you. I mm. For those that will not understand this thing that UK just said, you can go to our channel, but let me break it down for those that, you know, we don't get power to go sit down and watch long live stream. So in the live stream that UK did, she came to literally break down everything, which we know most of the things she came to say already, okay? But the part a lot of people were interested in was this Adani part in the whole thing. And here I am also waiting to hear the parts which i did and i'm here to download it to you guys so according to uk family all the swell that she and edith had their issue adane has been speaking to her in the private part meaning that adane has been talking to uk family so at a point adane started telling her that oh uk it will be good if you can make peace with your sister your sister actually cares about you she talks about you she you know she wants you guys to you know be back together the way you were that was what adane was telling uk and then uk was like okay are you sure are you sure she has calmed down are you sure this is okay she said yeah so according to uk family when editorial posted the hotel you know details online she called editorial with another number that editorial did not have and then she congratulated editorial now she didn't go ahead to tell us editorials you know explanation or whatever in that video i mean in what she said okay but she called editorial shouting and celebrating with her so according to her she decided that okay let her cuckoo go to Edith's house, which she went to Edith's house, and we all know all that, that she went there before she went to the venue, okay, not that one she went to film, no, she went there for settlement, and then she spoke to Edith and Marzi, and then she went home, and she said when she went to her house, she called Grandma Give to let Grandma Give that know that she went to Edith's house, and Grandma asked what happened, and she said, oh, everything went okay, that they talked it out, and Grandma was like, fine. So, she called grandma and asked a few days later again, when are you coming in? So I grandma told her, oh, I'm coming in so, so, so days. She was like, okay, no problem. So she decided to go to Edith's house a day to the launch, which was a Friday. And that was when she went there to vlog. And according to her, we all know now because she has settled, blah, blah, blah. So she felt like it was okay. So when she went there, she vlogged. And then she got to the hotel. She said, when she got to the hotel, where she started suspecting that things were not as the same was when Adane saw her. Then Adane was acting towards her like they've not been speaking in the private part. For those that don't understand, when I say private part, I mean privately. I'm sure some of you guys will know that private part is just an inside joke here on YouTube, all right? So she and Adane were speaking privately, but Adane acted like she wasn't speaking to her. They've never talked before or anything like that. And she was like, hmm. Then she said, According to the story that was flying around that f fighting or whatever happened that day that she went there before the function day that there was no fighting. Now, we also heard that on that function day, some persons were stopping creators that came from vlogging. And UK said it that it is true. Okay, but the creators would always vlog. That's how can you invite content creators and you say they should not vlog, they should not create content. And they will always create content. So it was true that Grandma Gift was trying to stop people from vlogging. But UK did not mention Grandma's name. She just said it was true that they tried to stop people. But people still went ahead and created content anyway. Because how do you control grown adults you know why in the function not to create content anyway that being said now the part of adane adane has been speaking to uk trying to make uk see reasons to make peace with her sister telling her that you are the bigger person um just make peace okay you're the one that brought the issue online come and apologize to her okay senior most times you have to come down and UK felt like, okay, really? Yes, probably I did something wrong. Let me come and apologize to, um, you know, to her. And then 
the old drama, the old thing turned around. Now, you can also wait for that to talk about the attitude that grandma gave displayed towards her at the function. And she said she was disappointed, but she was glad that she attended that function because it showed a lot of things. It revealed a lot of things to her that she never knew was still there. According to her, she felt like, oh, since she had went there a day before, they've tried to sort it out and whatnot. But her going to the function revealed a lot of things. And then I think she was saying that that audio, which, um, you know, a lot of us heard Edith's voice shouting and saying she did not like that UK was there or whatever. Um, I think a lot of us, a lot of us actually um hit that audio if you didn't hear it please check my channel it's just two videos down there and you would see it so you can say the hearing that and adane denial of you know not putting one stopping her from putting the children and everything just made her like oh i realized what those people now according to her she does not know if it was edith that told adane to keep inviting her for the function or to come settle not the function to come settle with editorial she does not know but adane was behind there instigating her to come and make peace with edith and then she went there it was okay but the function day it was something there but we cannot dispute the fact that we saw edith you know bending down and hugging UK's children. And that is what I think that no matter the issue you're having with, you know, a mother, as a mother yourself, you should never involve the children. For one, if I am not greeting somebody, right, I would not stop my children from greeting the person. Unless the person has come to my face and tell me, I will kill you. Then why would my children greet someone that wants to kill me? So, but if you've not done that, maybe we have an issue, we fell out and we're not speaking and my children and me will pass. I won't stop my children from greeting you. As a matter of fact, I will scold them. Well, in Nigeria, you guys know we greet a lot. So, it's a Nigerian thing. For the moms that are in diaspora, I'm sure it's a different ballgame entirely. Like, you don't even make your children greet anybody. Like, it's not a big deal. But here in Nigeria, it's a cultural thing where, you know, you greet your neighbors. Your children greet those that are older, okay? So, anyway, all that being said, the bone of contention here is still Adane. Because why was Adane telling UK, oh, your sister misses you, or oh, make peace with your sister? When, if... If, because we don't know, Adane, you can tell Adane to come outside and debunk if she's lying. But now my question to Adane is, Adane, did Edith ever tell you that she would really like to settle with UK family? That you should, even if Edith didn't send you to go and talk to UK, but did you get the go ahead? You know, you can get the body language or the conversation you've had for you to go and be telling UK to come make peace because it's wrong if Edith did not give those signal and you just pushed UK because it's it's bad on UK's part. UK would never have gone there if you were not busy feeding her with information that you should go and make peace with Edith. I don't think UK would have gone there. But because UK felt like, oh, since you're already trying to, you know, make peace with me, you know, like you're, you, you are ready to forgive me for what I did wrong, then, you know, why not, if not. But at this point, guys, it seemed like, you know, this bloodbath in this family, it is never going to end. Anyway, I have a little bit of clip where UK was, you know, trying to trash one or two. I'm going to drop it here for you guys to leave your thoughts what you think um please let's go easy on adane okay adane is pregnant and <laughs> i don't know man but they will say pregnant woman why pregnant woman need a closed mouth i really want to feel you know sympathetic towards her but come on now pregnant woman you chef you chef know the tea where you go talk know the kind of information where they pass around don't think that oh i don't know sure guys i don't know let me know what you think and i will see you guys in my next video bye for now Congratulate Eddie Golden Hotel. But it was because now I have gone to and I said, I will invite a few people for your hotel. He said, Yes, it's a business place. I came back, I now did official invitation on my channel now, where I could collect from her clip and put. So even when uh, reactors were like, hey, they're not invited her. Oh. She now nah, she they even come. This girl get mine though. I go just carry uh come they invite people. I was just laughing. I laughing. And even before that time, um Choice TV went on a live streaming. Yes. 
And I came and said, ah, please, uh, you people should beg her to forgive. Then I got to the hotel. I greeted them. I told them, I'm just coming from your house. So that when they say, you never told me you were coming to my house. I said, I'm coming from your house. I met your children. I told her, I, ah, I don't see your children. I told her, I'm coming from your house. The, the person I met, they say, you people are here. That's why I came here. Okay. I met all the family. We spoke. Grandma was not around. Grandma went to market. If you check that my video, when I went to that house was in the afternoon as I was coming back from town around 30. From that time, I went to the hotel, stayed. I called grandma the first time around three, around five again. She was still in the market. And around six, I was like, I'm also by the old market. I see they wait for you because I wanted to greet her in person. So I waited. She told me, wait, I'm coming. I see they buy things. 